Alrighty then, this is for the shindig, which is to make a video of the types of things you bring to an event. Um, I generally get assigned, usually they send out an email, please let us know what you'd like to bring. And for me, they have already assigned me deviled eggs. And I make my deviled eggs with Spanish olives, or the olives with a pimento in the center. So I'm gonna chop up these. They're gonna go into my mixture. I've got my eggs on to boil. When they boil, I'll cover it. And then I'll set my timer to 13 minutes and my eggs are usually cooked perfect. But because Vern is Vern, anytime I make egg salad, I'm sorry, anytime I make deviled eggs, I also have to make egg salad. And the one thing I do not love is how boiling eggs inside your house makes your house smell. I don't know why I don't like it, but considering it is 96 degrees outside and 108 heat index, I faux show. Sure. Ain't doing it out there and cutting all these eggs in half and chopping up the other ones for egg salad. So I'm gonna chop these up and then I'll come back when my eggs are finished cooking. I have cooled them off and I'm starting to slice them out in half and we will make some very delicious, fantastical egg deviled eggs. Yep, that's what we're doing. Yep. Oh, and my Fred died, Fred the fan. So I had to get a new fan. This is $60. Good Lord, it's a fan. I think I paid $14.99 for Fred and I got two of them. So Fred is down and this is my new fan. Sadness, the loss of good fans. And this is my little vintage deviled eggs plate with a little salt and pepper chick. And it is old and it is a red letter Japan. And it's adorable, so cute. So my 13 minutes is up. I ran one egg underneath cold water and now we'll slice it in half like we would for deviled eggs. Oh yeah, perfection, okay. Gonna drain the rest of them, shake them around to crack them and get to peeling. It ain't hard, it's deviled eggs. So in my opinion, it's always easy to get the yellow yolk out. I simply take a regular spoon, like a coffee spoon from my everyday utensils, and I use the end of it, and I drag out that yellow yolk. And this way, I'm not poking a hole in my egg that I'm gonna be filling with my deviled egg mixture. Ain't hard. It's just tedious, especially when your husband makes you add egg salad to it, because you know he's Mr. McBossy Bossy Pants. Okay, so again, I just kind of bend my egg backwards, slide it right in there. I'll do the rest of them. We'll come back and we'll make our purdy filling. It's just sour cream, mayonnaise, or mayonnaise as we say in New Orleans. Some what's this here sauce, white pepper, and kosher salt. It's all good, it's not hard, it's fun and delicious. All right, now we start our little assembly. I just take a larger fork, smash up, smush, pulverize my little egg yolks. So what works for me is I put my eggs in a Magnolite pot. I put it on my super burner. Then I turn the heat. As soon as they come to a boil, I cover them, turn off the heat, set my timer to 13 and it's good as done. So I'm gonna start with some mayonnaise after I make a big racket. Then I need some mustard. Let me get that gross liquid part off that always comes first. I don't know why it does it. Okay, here we go. A squish of mustard. Some what's this here sauce. I just put it on the mayonnaise and it doesn't discolor. My little egg yolks. And it's easier to add more mayonnaise than it is to start out with too much. Some sour cream. You can probably hear my not Fred fan 
off to my right, but it'd be hot. Okay, so then I'm just gonna do some kosher salt. White pepper, because as you know, I do not like black pepper flakes in macaroni salad or anything that's purdy. So I think that's why we have white pepper. Now, remember I chopped up some of my Spanish olives. Ain't never know how many you need because you don't know how big your eggs are and eggs have been so small. It's very weird. Let's do some more. And I take all the shells and I dump them out in the marsh when the tide is down and these fish go nuts. They kind of eat anything. Mixy Mixy Incorporation. It's Incorporation. Let's do some more. Now I'm gonna let it sit here about five minutes and get fluffy with itself. Sort of hydrating them little yolks. We'll come back and try it and see what we need to add. But this is my consistency. It ain't purdy, but I promise you it'll be cute when it's up in that little eggshell. Well, not the eggshell. You know what I mean? I shower turn, gotta wash my hands. So Vern proves of the flavor of the mixture, so I'm rolling with it. Now, I do not use a cute little pastry bag and make a little puffy thing in my egg. I don't do that, okay? I just take a spoon, right? And I smush it into gently, gently, that little where the yolk was. Then I take a little bit mo, and I spread it over it. Don't be stingy. I hate to get a little puffy deviled egg somewhere, and it's like, they gave me like a little puffy cute bag, and it's like eating air, okay? So then I take a that, and then I've sliced some of the Spanish olives, and I've set my Spanish olive in the middle. Oh look, I was stingy. Speaking of stingy, okay? So there's my deviled egg, and I put them in my cute little vintage Duflachi. And your hands get all icky. It just is what it is. It's cooking, people. It's a hot mess. So I'll be washing all these spoons, but I'm going to fill up that little yolk hole where the yolk used to be. Again, not using a little puffy bag. This is not a house beautiful home. This is, it's good and we eat it. Okay. There's our other one. So I'll make the rest of them and come back and show you my little deviled egg vintage platter of joy. Yeah, that's right. Now my fingers are icky and how do I turn off my camera? Come on. Nope, I need a clean finger. Alrighty then, here they are. I have not, I'm not putting the salt and pepper in the middle because these are for Vern and I. I will have one because I worked hard for this. He will get one because he was the taste tester and bought the eggs and the ingredients, okay? And they'll be yummy. So I put toothpicks in a couple of these, then I cover it with cling film, put it in my refrigerator, and they're real good, real good. Now, because I am gonna be making egg salad with the rest, I'm gonna use the bowl that I had this in, okay? So there we go. It ain't hard, it's deviled eggs. And they're delicious. And I love them so hard. So anyway, the shindig, I'll put up who the participants are, who the hosts are, and what channels are participating so that you get to have a video every day of some awesome cooks who are out here in the YouTube land. Yes, yes they are. Have a great one. 